Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to do a clean, simple winged liner look and I actually completely forgot to use this in my ColourPop video. I picked up one of their liquid liners and I don't know how I missed this but I just didn't use it in my ColourPop video so I figured today I would try it out, let you know what I think, just kind of a first impressions. But I also just wanted to do some winged liner today, I was just kind of in the mood. Um, so we've got a little bit of winged liner, lots of lashes, and everything else is just stuff that I already had and um, I actually, ooh, my foundation little cocktail today looks so beautiful. I cannot wait to show that to y'all. So um, that's what we're doing today. I'm also kind of trying something new. Um, I'm really trying to just up the quality of my videos and I want it to be a really enjoyable experience, um, but still personable. So um, I thought I would just kind of give a backdrop a try. We'll see how it goes. So far I like it. Um, but I thought I'd just kind of switch things up. I haven't switched it up in a while. So anyway, without further ado, make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, grab your makeup if you want to do your makeup with me. Um, I actually had a little glass of wine while I was sitting here and doing my makeup so you can have a glass of wine with me as well. And let's go ahead and get into it. So it is actually evening time as I'm filming this, so I'm sitting here enjoying a glass of wine and I just want to put some makeup on, honestly, like I just, I feel like putting makeup on. So I want to do something kind of glam, but not over the top and I want to do some winged liner. That's what we're doing tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this rare pore primer. I'm still kind of testing this out and I will definitely update y'all. Um, I haven't noticed too much of a difference with this, but I'm just gonna keep playing around with it. It feels really nice. But yeah, I haven't really noticed any kind of difference in the way that my foundation looks. Um, definitely not to the extent that my Hourglass Veil Primer does. And also I was playing with some liner earlier and it will not come off, um, which is a good thing, but yeah, that's why there's a little bit right at my lash line. All right, so I'm gonna do a little foundation cocktail today. So I really wanna use this new Aether Desert Sun Glow Oil. So I have her Desert Moon Illuminating Oil, which looks like this. It's more of kind of like a rosy champagne. This is what the oil looks like when you don't mix it. Um, but then when you shake it up, it has this really pretty see that really pretty shine and shimmer so this is the one I've been playing with so far but then she recently just came out with her desert sun glow oil so that's pre shaking I'm gonna give it a good shake and then this is what it looks like this looks so gorgeous I can already tell I'm going to bathe myself in this in the summertime so I thought I would mix this in with my Danessa Myricks vision cream cover this is very very full coverage um, so I like to share it out with products. So I'm going to do a pump of Danessa Myricks, which is honestly probably a little too much. And then I'm going to take the Desert Sun Glow Oil. I'm going to do two drops of this. It's quite potent and very, very shimmery, so I don't want to do too much. But I'm just going to mix that little cocktail together. And then I'm going to take this Rare Beauty brush and just blend her out. So I definitely <laughs> pumped out way too much. I think probably half a pump of this and then maybe a drop of the oil would have been perfect. But this is definitely my new favorite way to use Vision Cream Cover. Oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful little cocktail. So I'm just taking this small sponge, I'm going to take whatever's left over on my hand, and I'm going to use this as concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm. I talked about this in my ColourPop video, I'm absolutely obsessed with this, it is such a beautiful product. I love, love, love this. So I use this in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to 
bronze up the skin. Yeah, definitely a strong scent though. I mentioned that in my video as well. It definitely has a strong scent, but it does dissipate after you apply it. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. All right, so we're looking quite dewy. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter and then we're gonna set my face down because yeah, I'm looking a little oily. So I'm gonna take my Beauty Counter Topaz Luminous Powder Highlighter. I believe this is still available on their website. This is a product that they are discontinuing to my knowledge. So I'm just trying to get a lot of use out of her on my channel while I can. One of my favorite highlighters. And I'm just gonna buff this in the normal areas. And I love using a powder highlight on top of slightly wet, creamy skin. I feel like the highlighter looks more creamy, less powdery. And yeah, it just it kind of just changes the whole texture of the highlighter. All right, and then for powder, I'm actually gonna use two powders. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder, and I'm just gonna take this on my under eye area, but I'm gonna use a different powder for the rest of my face um, because I'm testing out another powder and I wanna kinda get my thoughts together before I do my makeup kit video. All right, so for the rest of my face, I want to use this Shantikai Flower Power Perfect Blur finishing powder. Um, I've been testing this out for a couple weeks now, but I just want to use it a couple more times before I kind of give you my final thoughts in my monthly makeup kit video. Alright, so for a little bit of bronzer, I'm going to take my Lila B, the Sun Kissed Bronzer. And then I'm going to take a little fluffy brush and just apply a little bit of this through my crease. It's not really gonna be noticeable, but I just wanna give a little bit of definition to my eye. And then for blush, um, I wanna try out this Jane Iredale Glow Time Blush Stick in the shade Glorious. This is another product that I will talk about in my monthly makeup kit video. Um, I've been testing these out, but I haven't actually tried this color. So again, this is the shade Glorious. It's a really pretty kind of bronzy shade. Oh wow, that one's super pigmented. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of this on my finger. Just tap this on my cheeks. Really nice, very bronzy, summery shade. And honestly, if you have really fair skin, you could probably use this as a bronzer. Alright, so I went ahead and just did my brows off camera. And now we're going to move on to the liner. So I am not a pro at liner. Actually, liner is probably the most difficult thing for me to do um, because I don't wear liner a lot so I don't have a lot of practice and also just my eye shape is in just for me it's very difficult to do liner so we'll see how this goes but I wanted to try out this ColourPop liquid liner I got it in the shade Grande I think is what it's called um, it's just a brown and I've only swatched it on my hand let me see if I can show you so it looks really nice. Um, so I'm excited to play with this. I have, guys, I have so many liquid liners that are in unopened boxes because I'm just, I just don't use liquid liner. But we're going to pull her out today and try this out. So what you want to keep in mind is just keep your eyes relaxed as possible so that you can really see what the liner is going to look like when your eye is in a natural state. If you're like me, and I used to do my liner all the time, I used to like do this, like pull my eye back, and then I would relax my eye and I would lose my liner. It would just get lost in the little folds that I have in my eyes. So try and keep it as relaxed as possible. Again, this is not a tutorial. I'm going to speed through this part. I just kind of want to try this out and see how good this is. And I feel like this type of applicator is what I'm most comfortable with, and I feel like I have more control. So I'm hoping for the best, but we'll see. Okay, so that was actually really easy. I think these liquid type of products, 
they kind of make me nervous because uh, most of the time a lot of product comes out or it's the opposite where no product comes out and I'm trying to like go over and over and over and over again trying to get the ink out but this was really really easy so you can see when I open my lid like this it creates this kind of like bat wing shape so again if you were to keep your eye open like this and do your liner you would lose a lot of that when you just relax your eye so if you have hooded eyes like myself make sure to try and keep your eyes as relaxed as possible it can be a little difficult kind of goes against what you want to do you want to kind of keep your eye taut but try and keep it as relaxed as possible and then matching them is always the the fun part This eye is always a little bit more difficult for me because I have to like, I'm right-handed, so I have to reach around. But, that's not too shabby. Again, this eye, it just never turns out exactly the way I want. I feel like this eye is also a little heavier, right in this little outer corner. You can kind of, my lid droops a little bit more and it's a little heavier, so I feel like this side is always more difficult for me to get a really crisp, clean liner. Also, I'm having to reach around, so this side is always just kind of a struggle for me. But you know what, once we apply mascara and everything, I think it'll be fine. But yeah, this liner is super nice. I did not have any issues. It a, creates a nice, clean line. The pigment is perfect, like it gives you enough product, but not too much. That's really nice. So I'm kind of curious to see how this wears. Um, so I will definitely update y'all with this. But wow, I love this little pen. And they have a bunch of colors as well. Um, so I might have to get some colorful ones because that would be really fun. So for the lip, I'm gonna take my favorite Bodyography Barely There lip pencil. All right, and then I'm going to take the Shantikai Lip Veil in Tamarind, which is a really pretty kind of brownie nude. All right, guys, that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today, doing a little winged liner. And wow, first impressions, this is really, really nice. So I'll have to keep you updated on the wear time and... Um, but, I mean, application, everything. Love it. And if this turns out to be a really good long wearing liner, I definitely want to pick up some more color. So, again, just ColourPop is just always killing it. They've, they've just got some really great products, and they're so affordable, cruelty-free, vegan, like, just a really great brand. So I've been very, very impressed with all the products that I've tried for them. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Broken roses, I can't focus. I can't focus. Something precious like you should be never open.